For those of you who are taking, listening, and speaking, today we're going to continue yesterday's task by separating or going into our teams and answering the questions from our other teammates. One of the first things we're going to do today in class is to assign teams. So you're going to be assigned a team with a set of questions that you're going to be asked to answer in today's activity. We're going to be using Sway to present the visuals that will include the answers to the questions that we're going to speak about. So I want to spend a few minutes here to show you what to include in today's task. The first thing is to consider that we're going to speak each member, each team member should speak three to four minutes. You can decide how you want to do that, but at the end, that's um, how long each member should speak. We're going to be using Sway, as I mentioned, to provide visuals and also the audio or video. So however you're comfortable creating the audio or video, you can choose. Uh, you can do that. You can use uh, Microsoft Teams as you've done in the past and then download that audio or, or video to your computer and then upload to Sway. Or you can use simply your cell phone if you want to use just an audio and record your voice and then upload that audio to Sway. That's also, um, that's also an option. Whatever is easiest, whatever works best for you individually and or as a team. I would discuss it as a team and decide how you want to do that. You want to answer the three questions, all right? So that's going to be the basis for today's activity is to answer the questions that were posed by the other team that you're uh, referring to. We're going to set up different roles, all right? So one of the first things you're going to do uh, in today's activity is to assign roles to each team member. So some of the roles will include team leader. The team leader typically will be the one responsible for sharing the screen and kind of um, driving the conversation. As, as a team leader, you're also going to be responsible for resolving any, um, any conflicts, anything that needs a decision that needs to be made. If a decision cannot be reached, then the leader will need to make the final decision. But it's always important as a team leader to encourage everyone to participate equally. That's one of the responsibilities of a team leader is to help each other, encourage each other, and uh, make sure that everyone has a voice, everyone has an opinion about uh, the task. Uh, we also need uh, a cartographer. This is going to be the person responsible for creating the mind map. Now, the mind map for today's activity is going to show the answer to the questions, okay? So yesterday, we developed a mind map for the questions. Today, it's going to be more related to the answers. Now, there could be some similarities. If you're looking at the mind map from uh, your team, your, the other team that you're uh, referring to, when you're looking at their questions, you can use that, that mind map to get some ideas. But of course, you're free to develop the mind map however you wish. The third role here could be the Sway designer. So someone who might be, have an interest in design uh, is encouraged to take on that role and uh, participate. And it could even be uh, the person that is in charge of organizing the Sway and moving the cards around. And we'll talk a, li a little bit more about uh, Sway here in a second. And then the fourth is the storyteller, the fourth role. So we need one person that is uh, particularly good at telling stories that wants to include a personal story that relates to the answers that you're developing as a team. So this uh, story that you're to include in this activity is going to be part of the three to four minute requirement, right? So for example, you might have one team member who's just going to tell a personal story that relates to the answers, and the other two teammates will be in charge of presenting the two to four key points that reflect the answer to those questions. All right, so uh, you can decide how the stories, you know, how the story can be presented in the, the answer, right? For example, the story could be left until the very end of the presentation, right? Or it could be kind of sprinkled in throughout answering 
the questions. Now, one thing I want to talk about in terms of how you want to organize your your answers, and this will uh, really go back to the mind map because again, the mind map is going to represent the answer. So, how you present your answers, think of two to four key points that you want to talk about that will include answering the three questions. Try not to just simply answer the first question and then second answer the second question and then answer the third question. Instead, find a way to try to answer the three questions, but by organizing it by point. We call this a point-by-point -point organizational method. And so if you are thinking about how to answering those how to answer the questions, think about two to four key points that will serve as how you want to organize those points. And those two to four key points that you want to include in your answer to the question, you can include in the form of headings. Now let's take a look, just a quick look here at uh, Sway. I'm going to show or share with you guys a link. In fact, I'll do that now. If you go to YouTube and you search how to use Sway, there are different videos, but I particularly like this first one here. It's pretty good. It's fairly recent. How to use Microsoft Sway, and I don't think it's all that long. Well, it is 20 minutes, so it's a little bit long. Maybe find a shorter video, um, but it's fairly straightforward. It's organized by cards, and you can, as you see here, I can click and drag these cards. If I click here, see, I can click and drag and move these cards around however I wish. They have different types of cards. They have headings, text, images. Stacks are a collection of images that you can uh, include that you can also organize different types of cards by category by selecting these tabs along the top. So you can insert images, video, audio, and this is where, for example, if you're creating an audio or video for your part of your um, part of your answer here, you can choose how you want to do this. Do you want to do it individually? Do you want it to do it collectively, like create one audio file that includes all of you speaking, or do you want to do it separately? This is an, a decision that you can make as a team. How do you want to organize your ideas? Okay, but again, three to four minutes is, is, is all that I'm asking here for answering each of the questions per person. So here you can basically go in and add images. You can add images to headings. You can just add images itself. Um, don't feel like you have to put a lot of information in the Sway. This is maybe even our first time using Sway. So uh, just keep it simple. You'll have probably a heading at the top. You can create a, a title maybe for your Sway. Again, have one person, maybe uh, the person who's in charge of the Sway, create the Sway under his or her account. And uh, remember, uh, when you go to Microsoft, 365 along the left hand side down towards the bottom is where you can access your your sway as a student here at, at the university all of us have access to a sway and from here you can choose different types of templates okay so you can click here more templates and get some ideas so you could start with one of these if you wish or if you want to start with a blank sway you certainly can do that as well so yeah, keep this way simple. This particular example here has a lot of information. I don't expect uh, a lot of cards, okay? Maybe two or three cards is, is going to be enough. Again, I, I just want to uh, use this opportunity in this task for us to become a little bit familiar with Sway. And as you see here, this is kind of the, they call it the storyline. You can experiment on your own how you want to design it. But it's very easy to change the design if you don't like it. You can click play here and see what it looks like. So there are two uh, options here. It's, there's the published option, which is this is what it actually looks like. You can click edit, and you, then you can go back to the storyline and go back and continue to edit. You know, you can go back and edit the text. You can include hyper text. So 
today's activity, we're going to be using Sway. And uh, these are the, the criteria that I would like for you to follow. Uh, I've included here the, uh, the, uh, the four roles. Some of you only have three members, so you can decide who will assume each of these four roles. Maybe uh, one person, the leader, will also be in charge of the, the sway, for example. You can decide on uh, the roles, but I think these are good roles that we want to include. The last thing I'll say in the uh, sway presentation is to make sure at the bottom of the sway that you include each of your team members. You can just include the first name of your team member. Um, and also the role that he or she took in, uh, in today's activity. All right, so these are the general instructions for today. I will be, I'll be online, of course, to answer any questions, but I'm gonna ask everyone first, of course, to uh, watch this video and, um, and then begin working on today's activity.